Hi quilters, I'm Shelly Robson from the Quilted Forest. As many of you know, we are the home of Peace Tree Patterns, which is our pattern company. And one of the things we're most known for are these tiny cards, which we call the tiny ones. We have a collection so far of 130 different titles, but recently we have added five new titles. So I'm gonna have to make a new display because I need to find room for five more on this display. But so far, this is what we've done. They cost um, $3.50 each, so they're very reasonable pattern to purchase. And we have 130 different, 135 now different titles. They make patterns anywhere from table runners, placemats, baby quilts, king size quilts, uh, toppers that are kind of round. We have a tree skirt. We have ones that use jelly rolls. We have ones that use charm packs. We have ones for layer cakes. We have ones for fat quarters. We have ones for yardage. Any kind of variety, we have it here for you. All of our patterns can be found on our website, thequiltedforest.com, and I'll put a link in the description below so that you have an easy way to find them. The first of our new tiny ones is called Brick Layer, and it uses one layer cake and one other fabric for the sashing and the binding. This is what it looks like. It is quite a large size quilt, but the great thing, like I said, is just one layer cake and one other fabric for the sashing and binding. Goes together really quick. It was really fun to make. And here at the Quilted Forest, we always try to have a good selection of layer cakes to pick from. And we put them on the shelf because it fits perfectly right here on this shelf. Our next pattern is Tiny 132, which is the Panel Express Baby Quilt. This one uses a single panel, either a 24 inch or a 36 inch wide. It'll work with any width panel and a few other fabrics. So you can get fat quarters or fat eighths to go along with it. I have a couple samples to show you. This one, we use this adorable little um, print in the center that has all the Bible verses on it. And see, this is where the, the fabrics go just seven fat eighths or you could use fat quarters and then a border print that you also use for binding very simple quilt is great way to use up a panel i have another colorway we did and this one is a really bright version it has this adorable noah's ark panel in the center some bright prints out on the side and then a border print that matches we also use for binding Here at the Quilted Forest, we put all of our panels on this handy dandy rack that spins around so that you can see all the panels that are on it. We put them on there and you can just open them up, see what they look like. Every panel that we have is on this rack. So if you see it on this rack, you'll also find it on this rack. We have them pre-packaged and we put them in these bags so they're easy to see, easy to identify. And instead of waiting for us to cut them off the bolt, you can just grab a package and check out. Our next pattern is Tiny 133. It's called Baby Brick Layer and it uses one charm pack and two other fabrics, one for a border and one for sashing and binding. We use this pink for our sashing and for our binding. The charm packs cut up here, and then we have a border piece that goes on the top and the bottom. 
Here at the Quilted Forest, we always have a large selection of charm packs for people to pick from. And this pattern will work with any kind of charm pack as long as you can find two fabrics that coordinate with it. Our next pattern is Tiny 134 Panel Surround. It also uses panels. This one uses 24 inch panels and it uses two other fabrics, an inner border and an outer border. I have two samples to show you. This one is a Halloween version and I have a orange for the inner border and then the matching fabric for the outer border and also the binding. Very fast to put together. So if you need a quick panel project, this is a really good one for you. And I have one more sample to show you. And this one uses the dog panel. I had to make sure I had it right side up. Again, it's just the two fabrics. And this panel actually measured a little bit larger than we needed for the panel. So one thing I wanted to point out, a little trick that we use when we have panels like this that we need to make them a little bit smaller to work for some of our patterns, is we just cut the panel apart and put a seam in it. So this on the panel doesn't have a seam in it, but in order to make it work for our pattern, we needed to cut it down a little bit. So we just cut it apart, seamed it back together, and then it was the perfect size. So. Our next pattern is Tiny 135. It's called Bundle Buster, and I made this one to use when you have a pile of fat quarters that you want to put together into a quilt. I was looking for a fat quarter quilt, couldn't find one that I liked, so I made up my own pattern. This one uses a variety of fat quarters, and it's kind of a large quilt. A bundle of 20 fat quarters would be a great start for this quilt. So for this one, you use five of the fat quarters for these large center rectangles. You buy one fabric that you will use for the frames and for the binding, and then the other fat quarters are cut up for the rectangles. If you wanted to use one fabric for those large center rectangles, I have yardage for that printed on the pattern, so you could just use one fabric there. We usually have a large variety of bundles available at the Quilted Forest, some that we buy from companies that are already put together into the fabric lines, and some that we make ourselves. 